Welcome to Dukascopy TV. I'm Eva Johnston and today we will talk about neurocosmetics. The relationship between emotions and skin reaction has been recognized for decades. In 1925, Joseph Claude noted the importance of psychotherapy in the evolution of skin diseases. In 2004, Linda Buck and Richard Axel received the Nobel Prize for their discoveries of odorant receptors and the organization of the olfactory system, where odors can trigger distinct memories from our childhood, for example, or various emotional moments, positive or negative. Subsequently, this activation can have a direct effect on a number of body functions, including skin. Skin reacts to emotions and, in the same time, send signals to our brain and this exchange is happening all the time. The skin is an organ that is strongly reactive to emotion. Neurocosmetics approach skin problems and anti-aging from the point of view of a more effective exchange between skin and brain and a direct influence on skin through the brain and nerves. The key to this exchange are neurotransmitters, the mediators or messengers between skin and brain. By activating or reducing their action, we can directly influence skin behavior. Neurotransmitters are chemical messages that are released by skin nerve fibers. Nerve fibers, in their turn, are continuously communicating with fibroblasts. Fibroblasts are responsible for elastin and collagen production. Can aging of nerves and neurons impact fibroblasts and therefore skin youth? To be able to address this issue can open a new window for the cosmetics of tomorrow, neurocosmetics. Nerve fibers can be stimulated physically, chemically or emotionally. There are ingredients that can stimulate the brain-skin exchange. Some of them have been known for a long time, but not scientifically classified until recently. They are often referred to as adaptogens that is capable of adapting our cells, our skin, to external stress and pressure by increasing our own internal protection forces, such as stimulating our own immune system. Ginseng, echinacea, surprisingly chamomile, and certain essential oils can perform this function. Interestingly enough, this stimulation is more effective when we apply natural ingredients according to Linda Buck and Richard Axel. Organic composition can, therefore, have a very important role in the development of neurocosmetics. A profound scientific research supports emerging of emotional, sensorial and holistic cosmetics, and we look forward to more discoveries for our skin youth. Thank you. You have watched Dukas Kupiti.